Hi friends, Mrs. Summers here. I thought this week maybe we could do a little bit of an investigation. As you know, I like to garden and my seeds are all getting ready to be planted in the next few weeks, or in some cases have been planted already and they're growing inside in order to be ready to be planted outdoors later. So today I thought we could do an investigation because not all seeds make sense for what they might grow. And sometimes it's fun to play the guessing game of what they might be. I like to grow some pretty weird and wacky things in my vegetable garden. So hopefully today's video will be a bit of a challenge for you. Let's take a look. Hi friends. Now I've got out some seeds and I've put them on this piece of paper because you might have some paper at home and you'll be able to see how big these lines are and then how big some of my seeds are. So actually I'm gonna move a few of these down and then we'll have them in a nice little row. Now, as you can see, some of my seeds are quite tiny and some are quite big. And the fun part about seeds is just because it's a big seed does not mean that you'll necessarily get a big plant. Um, sometimes the smallest seed can give you something really, really cool. So let's take a little bit of a guess. I've decided to start with this little seed here, friend, because... If you were doing our investigation back in the fall, you actually got to see what this kind of seed grows. So we were playing with little items. We had we had quite a few, we had about 20, and they were green on the bottom, and they were yellow on the top, and they're actually related to squashes and pumpkins. Do you guys remember what we did? We measured them. Uh, we, we compared them to pictures on our smart board and we had a lot of fun studying these and they were a really funny one. And uh, let's see if you remember what that one was called. It's called a gourd. So we had this silly looking character last year. So this year I'm hoping to put more gourd plants in my garden. And it was one single plant that gave us I think I counted it was over 30 gourds came off of one plant. So a little seed like this is going to grow lots and lots of these ones. And the fun part of this is it's a mix pack. So I don't know what the surprise is going to be. So fingers crossed. Do you have one that you're looking forward to? I'd love to see one that's a little bit funny with its texture. It looks like he's got warts or if he's wearing stripes like he's wearing pajamas. That could be a fun one. This big seed here, friends, is a new one I'm doing this year. This one, some people have allergies to and can't eat it. You might put it on a favorite sandwich with jam if it's made into a nice creamy base. And what else can we talk about? It grows in the ground and it has a shell on it. Um, so this is a peanut seed. Um, so it will grow um, a plant that will grow up. It will, the, 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 the plant will drop its little flowers into the ground and hopefully um, we will have peanuts to show off at the end of the summer. And uh, if, if I can be successful with these friends, it's the first time I've grown them, I will make sure to do a video to show you. So that's a peanut seed, look how big that is. This one gives me 30 big gourds that are about this big, whoop, there goes my hands, there's my hands. And then this, this big seed here might give me 12 peanuts, who knows? This fun one here, friends, I am so excited to try. This one, um, when it grows, looks a lot like a big zucchini or a squash. It's long and it's green. And once it grows, I leave it to, to dry on a vine that it's growing on, just like a, a squash would. And when it's all dried out, I can take all the seeds out of it that look like this, and I can cut it up into pieces and I will get, I gotta find my picture here, a thing called a loofah. And so this crazy looking picture here, friends, you cut it up and you can use it like a bath sponge. How silly is that? Can you believe it? I really hope I get to show these off to you in the fall once they're all, um, they're all grown and maybe we can practice peeling one of the plants together. I know there's lots of friends that like to do fun activities like that. So this, this seed here will grow a big plant that'll give me maybe four or five loofah plant, uh, fruits on one plant. That's a lot for one little seed to do. This next one here is one of my favorites. Look how teeny tiny that is, friends. It's gonna grow something that 
is it looks a lot like a special fruit that I think a lot of you like to eat in the summertime that normally has a red inside and stripy outside and it's got lots and lots of water inside of it but this is a very special type in the sense that it looks a lot like what we what we like to eat in the summer but they're not the same size do you guys remember these ones these are my kooka melons um they are they look like what do those look like friends watermelons isn't that crazy look how tiny they are they're little they're itty bitty they're also called mouse melons because they're probably the right side for a mouse and this teeny tiny little seed here friend will grow one vine and probably hundreds of little kooka melons and the kooka melons are really funny because they look like a watermelon but when you bite into them they taste like a cucumber how silly is that these two are from the same plant. I have two different colors that I'm growing this year. Do you guys know what those might be? Sometimes you might eat these. They're, we sometimes eat these kind of just at the seeds as they are. We cook them up and make them nice and soft. You might have them in your chili. Um, but uh, these seeds are going to give me something that we can eat right out of our garden, which I always think is fun. But some of my friends on here may not like them. These are what we might call, we call them bush beans, but some people call them green beans. And did you know that green beans also can be purple? So I'm growing some purple ones. I've never grown purple ones before. And funny enough, which one do you think belongs to each plant? Because the color of our seed sometimes matches and sometimes doesn't. So look at this. In the light, friends, it might be hard to see, but this seed actually looks quite purple. But it will grow me green beans and this pale colored one here this light brown one is actually for the purple beans so seeds are really silly that way they do amazing things and this is one bean will give me one plant and one plant will give me handfuls and handfuls and handfuls of beans all summer long so I'm really excited to try my purple ones and the last one what kind of vegetable do rabbits like to eat I wonder Hmm, these teeny tiny ones, they're very, very small, will grow me one vegetable each. And the rabbits might like to take it, so I'll have to watch that those sneaky rabbits don't get in my garden. What do you think it is, friends? What do these look like? Carrots. Isn't that fun? So our carrots, so I have two types of carrots. Do you friends want to take a guess at the other color of carrots that I will be growing this year are? Let's see, <gasps> purple carrots, oh my goodness. Did you know that carrots actually come in lots and lots of different colors? You can get ones that are bright yellow like sunshine or super white like a piece of paper or as you can see, as dark purple as can be. So this one right here, this is, and, and unlike the beans, the purple one gave me green beans, not purple beans. This seed down here that actually kind of has a bit of a purple color to it does belong to my purple uh, carrots and the little one here belongs to my orange carrots and each of these seeds um, will grow me one carrot. Um, carrots grow by themselves in the ground underneath the ground and they don't grow on plants so these ones will grow carrots not little plants. So I hope you had fun with that friends and guessing those and there'll be lots and lots of seeds and lots and lots of things for me to show you this summer. Do you remember what they're called? Gourds, peanuts, loofahs, kooka melons, beans, and carrots. Hi friends, and as you can see, my floor is covered in packages of seeds, from pumpkins to beans and carrots to different types of squashes and many, many different types of flowers. And there's a very, very important flower right now that you might be seeing out as a sign of spring. It's usually one of the first flowers we see. And I just wanted to let you know why I think it's a super important flower because some people think it's a weed. And remember, a weed is just something that someone really just doesn't like or enjoy. I love this flower and I really don't like to call it a weed. And we like to let our, our grass get covered in these flowers because these special flowers that are bright yellow, and I know you know which ones they are, called dandelions, are so very, very important this time of year. And I know we often have the want to pick them and smell them or to pop 
the the flowers off because some people don't like to look at them. But the why they're so important, friends, is they show up as the very first flower because they are bee food. The, 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 the nectar, the pollen that is in these dandelions helps our bumblebees to fill their belly as they come out of their winter sleep. And without those things around, our bee population doesn't stay healthy. And the bees always have a big hard fight, it seems. There's lots of things that can make them sick and cause their colonies to break apart. So we want to take care of the bees. Just like Jesus put us on earth to be caretakers of the earth, we are also caretakers of the of the animals and the plants. So I encourage you, friends, if you see those dandelions, leave them be, and they will give you a beautiful reward in the end. If you leave them be, they will turn into beautiful wish makers. And as you blow those seeds that are attached to little tiny parachutes, you are doing the bees a favor. Remember, without the bees, food doesn't grow. My my garden will not grow me vegetables and fruits if I don't have the bees around to help me do it. It's a job I just can't do alone. So I encourage you, don't pick those dandelions, give them a couple weeks, and you can go out and blow lots and lots of wishes. And hopefully one of those wishes is to keep the bees healthy and safe. I miss you all. I hope you had fun. I hope you're gardening too or you're enjoying the outdoors and all this sunshine. Don't forget your sunscreen, friends. I know I got a little bit of a burn this weekend. I miss you. I love you all. And I'll talk to you soon.